Electricity. What would our lives be without it? We only have to look around us to realize that it is our friend in so many ways. Electricity is one of the most reliable forms of energy available and completely safe as long as we use it correctly. When it comes to the safe use of electricity, how switched on are you? The first rule is to respect the power of electricity at home, at school, in the street and everywhere. Never insert bare wires into wall sockets or support the wires with matchsticks. This is a fire hazard and should be avoided by always having a plug attached to the wires. To ensure that a three-point plug is fitted correctly, open it by undoing the screw or prying the locking mechanism with a screwdriver. Then take the cord and cut back the outer insulation about four centimeters. Cut one centimeter off the insulation of the three wires and twist the copper strands of each wire. Loosen the screws of each of the three pins and insert the colored wires into the holes. Connect the green and yellow wire, which is the earth, to the front pin, the brown or red wire to the pin marked with a brown dot or with L for live, and the blue wire to the pin marked with a blue dot or the N for neutral. Now simply tighten the screws, replace the plug top and fit it securely into place. Now that you know how to fit a three-point plug, check all the plugs in your household to ensure that the right wires are connected to the right pins. Also ensure that all the cords are in good order. Damaged or frayed cords are dangerous. Touching the exposed wires can result in electric shock and if sparking takes place, it could cause a fire. Instead of repairing a damaged cord, rather replace it with a new one. To keep your cords in good order, never pull the plug out by pulling on the cord. Instead, switch off the electricity at the wall switch and then pull the plug firmly with a dry hand. Also, when inserting a plug into a socket, make sure that the switch is off. Do not overload a plug. Most plugs are made to carry a current of 15 amps. If you plug in more than one appliance at a time, you could overload the circuit, thus causing a short in the wall socket or tripping the main switch. The right thing to do is to use a multi-plug with a built-in trip, which will switch off automatically if too much current flows through it. Electricity is powerful, so don't be careless by running electrical cords or extension leads where people can trip over them or step on them. Be careful not to root cords underneath carpets or across doorways where they can be squashed and damaged. Always remember that water and electricity do not mix, so never use electrical appliances such as an electric heater near a bathtub or sink. Do not touch anything that runs on electricity when your hands are wet. Water is a conductor of electricity and when the two are brought into contact, you could get a deadly shock. When it comes to outdoor safety, you shouldn't play near overhead power lines. If, for instance, a kite gets caught in the power lines, live electricity could travel down the string and seriously hurt you. Never throw anything, particularly metal objects, at power lines. This could cause power failures. Don't climb utility poles, electrical pylons or trees that are directly under power lines. It could result in tragedy. Does a tree in your garden need cutting? First ensure that it's not in contact with a power line. If it is, call the City of Cape Town Electricity Services Department to switch off the power before you or a professional tree cutting company cut any branches. Never touch a sagging power line or one lying on the ground or in water. It could still be alive and could kill you. Keep far away and report it to the Electricity Services Department's call center on 0860 103 089. Driving high vehicles under power lines could spell disaster. Even if the load doesn't touch the line, the electricity could jump and fatally shock everybody in the vehicle. Building directly under power lines is also a really bad idea. It reduces the required safety distance from the power line. The possibility of contact with the line is increased, often with fatal results. Never make a fire under a power line. The smoke contains carbon, which conducts electricity and can therefore shock people near it. 
You should also be careful near electricity substations and the distribution boards found on our pavements. They carry high voltages and are locked to keep us safe from potentially lethal accidents. It is illegal to fiddle with or remove the locks. It is illegal and extremely dangerous to interfere with electricity boxes. Getting electricity directly from the main supply like this is stealing. It is illegal to run cables from city installed meters, ready boards or distribution boxes to neighboring households. From a main house to a backyard dwelling or a Wendy house, or from one main house to another. It is also dangerous to do this. In all these cases, wires could be damaged, resulting in a fatal shock to you or someone else, or a fire or blackouts. Instead of stealing electricity or sharing electricity connections, apply at any one of the city's cash offices for an additional prepaid meter. The city will advise you regarding the costs and procedures that you should follow. These procedures must include the hire of a qualified electrician to safely install the meter and cabling. The stealing of electrical copper cables has become a major problem. It can result in serious injury and even death, and also cause blackouts for entire communities. This is inconvenient and makes electricity more expensive for everyone due to the costs of reconnection and repair. Should you become aware of any illegal activities like cables being stolen, report it to the Metal Theft Unit at 0800 771 immediately. Electricity. Always treat it with the respect it deserves. But should an emergency arise, it is vital that we know how to deal with it. In the case of an electrical fire at home, don't attempt to put it out with water. You could be electrocuted. Get out of the house and call the city's emergency line 021-480-2200. The relevant emergency service, whether ambulance, metro police or fire department, will be sent to the scene of the incident. To handle an electrical shock, disconnect the main switch. If this cannot be done, disconnect the electricity at the wall plug to which the appliance is connected. Do not touch the victim until the electricity has been disconnected. You could be electrocuted as well. Use a wooden or plastic object, such as a broomstick, to push the victim away from the source of electricity and call the city's emergency line as soon as possible. Electricity plays a vital role in our lives, from the moment we wake up to the moment we go to bed. We must remember to treat it with respect every day. We should never touch electrical appliances with wet hands. We should never overload plugs, pull them out by the cord or stick bare wires into the socket. Always replace frayed cords and use multi-plugs. We should stay away from power lines, not climb or play on or near them, not build, make a fire or drive high vehicles under them. It is our responsibility to ensure that we use electricity legally for our good and the good of our community. Electricity helps us all. Use it safely, wisely, legally and sparingly so everyone can enjoy using it.